This is a classic question which has repeated a few times in the history of past years. I guess that people still keep, get, keep getting them wrong. But you have a conductor with three different sections. They're all the same metal but have different cross-section area. So same metal is good because that means the uh, resistivity is the same. But different cross-section area, so that will affect the resistance. Hmm. There's a current in the conductor. Now this current is the same throughout. This I is the same I here, is the same I here, is the same I here. Same current throughout, so I don't need to write that out, okay? So what are they asking? They say point Y is zero potential. So if this is zero volts, up here could be, I don't know, 12 volts or whatever that is. But zero is our reference point. So across this whole thing, there's a potential drop or potential difference of 12 volts if I start off at 12 and end at zero. Which graph best shows the variation of potential with distance? So if you take a scanner, you start from here and you slowly scan your way to there, distance, mm, how would the potential drop? Oh, this one you gotta know. So you need to know that potential is dropping. Are all the graphs dropping? Yes, they are dropping. The second thing you need to know is that in the conductor, the drop is continuous. Meaning, if I just travel from where? If I travel from, 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 from here to here, there will already be a potential drop there as I go along. So maybe the moment I go until here, oh, I'm already dropping, already dropping, already dropping, already dropping. Okay, so if I just draw a one section resistor and I ask you to plot the graph of the potential against distance, that means you start off here, you are already dropping down from this part until right here. Okay, so that is a big clue because you can eliminate quite a bunch of questions answer here. So these two, not correct. These, these and these should not be flat. If it's flat means there's no potential drop. Why is there suddenly a potential drop here? It should happen throughout the whole thing. So that leaves us with choice A and B. What's the difference? If you look at the order, the this one is most steep. This one is least steep. Oh man, let's zoom in a little bit more. This one is least steep and this one is most steep. That gives you a clue actually. Potential difference. The drop from here to here is quite small, whereas the drop from here to here is quite big, my friend. Potential drop depends on hmm, resistance. Aha, uh -huh. so here is a very big drop, whereas here to here is a very tiny little drop. Okay, so we, with this in mind, let's go and take a look at our resistor again. So if you want to think of the resistances of all these parts, which one has the highest resistance? The, the narrowest one, right? So this fella here has the largest R. Resistance, R for resistance. R is big. So this one here will have the smallest R. When you have a very small resistance, it means your potential drop is the smallest. Because you don't use up so much energy. Small. Okay? And that means this one here, would across the points here and here, would have also the largest potential difference or largest potential drop. That's a very important clue. Because now, we can go back to our graphs. So we want something which has a small potential drop and largest potential drop. So that is ALO, that's the only choice left. Whereas this one, the order is wrong. It's the steepness and the potential drop that, that made it wrong. Okay, so that is how you can think of the graphs potential dropping against distance. Okay, there's a few more like this, a bit more tricky ones, but I'll leave that for you to find out cone shape and whatever shape. But remember, potential drop, resistance, things like that. Okay, so that's all for this question. I will see you in the next one.